lives. Amen. 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 Okay. Uh, <laughs> Praise God. Woo. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Okay, this is a poem about mothers. Okay, um, I looked up mothers. And mothers are people uh, that are. Uh, oh. Glory to God. I feel like all in over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It says a mother brings up a child with care and affection. Proverbs 14 1 says. The wise woman builds her house, but a foolish one tears it down. All right, um, M is for meek but yet teachable. O is for an ever overcome, overcomer through the word. T, tender hearted and giving. How did you heard?
They hated Joseph because he dreamed that he that they would bow down to him. They hated him because he was their father's favorite child. They hated him because he told of their wrongdoings. He like was a telltale what the children grow up today and say that you a squiller, you always going back to mama and daddy telling them what we did. So Joseph did just that. They hated Joseph because their father could depend on him. He could find Joseph where he was supposed to be at. So there was many reasons that they hated Joseph. Verse 8, and his brethren said to him, shall thou indeed reign over us? Mm. Or shall thou indeed have dominion over us? Mm. And they hated him yet the more for his, for his dreams and for his words. Yes. And he dreamed yet another dream, and told his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more, and behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obstacles to me. So I mean they bowed down to him, and he told it to his father and to his brethren, and his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this dream that thou dreams? That thou dreams, shall I? And thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee, to the earth. And his brethren envied him, but his father observed the same. Mm -hmm. So Joseph was a dreamer, and Joseph told them the dream, but they were the one that interpreted the dream. Mm -hmm. So Joseph didn't even have to interpret the dream, they interpreted the dream. Mm -hmm. So you get mad at me, you hated me because I dreamed a dream. I didn't tell you the meaning of the dream. You told me the meaning of the dream. Yes. So it says Joseph was always where he was supposed to be. Uh -huh. We're going to go to verse, um, and Israel said unto Joseph, Do not thy brethren feed the flock in Shechem? Come, and I will send thee unto them. And he said to him, here I am, Joseph was always in place. Mm -hmm. Jacob could depend on his son, Joseph. And he said to him, go, I pray thee, see whether be well with thy brethren and well with the flocks, and bring me word again. Of course, he's going to come back and tell him. Mm -hmm. So he sent him out of the vale of Hebron, and he came to Sintram. Mm -hmm. Those sons was not where Jacob had told them to be at. Mm -hmm. They was out of place. Mm -hmm. Joseph was loyal to his father. Mm -hmm. Dad could always know where Joseph was at. So we need today, we need to be where God has told us to be. Amen. Don't be out of place. Yes. Be where God can put his hand on you. Right. Be, live a life that God can use you because God is not going to use anything or anybody, but he's going to use the ones that's in place according to his will. So Joseph go looking for his brothers. Verse 18. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him, to kill him. And they said one to another, Behold, this dreamer come. Hmm. He says, Come now, therefore, and let us slay him, let us kill him, and cast him into some pit, and we will say some evil beasts have devoured him, and we shall see what shall become of his dreams. Amen. Want to snuff out the dreams yeah. that Joseph had because they interpreted yeah. the dream saying that they would bow down to him. Mm -hmm. If you, you, evidently the dream had a lot of meaning if you want to stop the dream from coming to pass. You don't want the dream to be manifested, so therefore you have some belief that this, is, this will happen yeah. unless I kill you. Mm -hmm. So in order to stop your dream from coming to pass, we're going to kill you. Mm -hmm. And we know our Lord and our Savior, they tried to stop him, they tried to kill him yes. to keep God's manifestation mm -hmm. from coming to pass. Yeah. So Joseph, the story of Joseph reminds me so much 
of what Jesus Christ went through for our salvation. So we're going to go to um, the 23rd verse where Joseph ends up in the pit and is sold for the price of a slave. 23 says, and it came to pass when Joseph was coming to his brethren that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him, and they took him and cast him into a pit. And the pit was empty, there was no water in it. Now Joseph is being sold for the price of a slave, verse 28. Then there passed by Midianites merchantmen, and they drew out and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. Mm -hmm. And they brought Joseph into Egypt. Joseph was sold for 20 pieces mm -hmm. of silver. His brother sold him. Mm -hmm. No enemy, no stranger. Mm -hmm. His brothers put him in the pit, mm -hmm. got him out of the pit, mm -hmm. and they sold him for 20 pieces of silver. You know, our Lord and, souls, Lord and Savior was betrayed mm -hmm. for 30 pieces of silver. Mm -hmm. So Joseph is now being sold 